Nearly two years ago, I decided to start modifying my E93-335i after driving in stock for around four years. I asked my viewers to share ideas for the build and I was blown away with how much suggestions I received. I gathered the most commonly requested mods and actually made it happen. Together, we built the ultimate E93-335i. Aesthetically, it stood out, poor reliability became a non-factor and we were able to get supercar performance out of the twin turbocharged inline six. <laughs> And then after all that work, I announced that I was giving it away and that I was looking for a replacement BMW car. Many were excited and many were super disappointed. And honestly, I didn't blame them. A massive chunk of my viewers were here for that platform and now I was looking to get a replacement car that a lot of them would not be able to relate to. I thought hard about this for weeks and then finally I came up with a solution. The truth is that I love the E90X platform, I love the tunable N54 and I felt like I left a lot on the table with the E93. Well I'm super excited to announce that not only did I purchase an F10 M5, but I also purchased a very desirable car you guys will be so stoked to see on the channel going forward. Just a quick reminder guys, there is less than two days left to enter for a chance to win my fully modified 650 horsepower BMW 335i. For every $5 you spend on vehiclevirals.com, you'll automatically get five entries towards a chance to win this beauty. It'd be the perfect package to take into 2021. All the maintenance, performance, and exterior has been fully taken care of. Don't miss out, vehiclevirals.com or use the link in the description below. So, What's yeah. up guys? Uh, it's been six hours. <laughs> yeah, we were just driving from Atlanta, Georgia. We made it to Jacksonville to pick up a second car. Jeez, and, and it's been it? a long day. Pick Flight up to one Georgia, car. pick up one car, drive back, stop at Jacksonville, pick, pick up a up second car. car. Then we're taking both cars probably separate ways till tomorrow, and then we're going to figure out where I'm going to store them because I have no room for them. Fingers crossed. Hopefully the car is good. I got Ali here to check it out. And everything is good. We're going to give the cash up to the car, and yeah, we're driving two cars back to Orlando. <laughs> Dude, it looks frozen. It looks pretty frozen, yeah. Looks good. I still can't believe I have this car. It hasn't even been a full, I don't even think it's hit me yet. Cause I was excited earlier, but I was like, eh. I'd probably go to sleep, wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I own an F10 M5. Oh, it is a white guy. Good content for me. What do you think? Checks out? Imagine that guys, F10 M5 and the E93 35i. Driving both of them back to Orlando. Man, this is one hell of a weekend for sure. This is so good. E90, F10 M5. I bet you guys did not see that coming like at all. Like seriously guys, when does this ever happen? E90 335i LCI with the N54. Cause I couldn't do that to you guys. I couldn't just get rid of mine and not get a replacement. And then we also have the beautiful frozen black F10 M5. And I'm taking both of these home today. Like, this is unreal. Like, pinch me. Ali, come pinch me. Just just uh, pinch me real quick. Ah! Uh, it's real. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely ins insane. Like, honestly, I, I'm like, I'm at a loss of words. It's just beyond happy right now. Just look at it. 2015 BMW M5, frozen black with the competition package, S63, V8, twin turbocharged. And then we have a 2009 BMW sedan 335i with the N54, which is extremely, extremely rare since, you know, the N54 for the LCIs came, I think, for only a year and a half, 2009 and some of 2010. Le Mans blue, wheels, tune, catalyst downpipes, full exhaust system. Like, come on, man. Maintenance first, baby. Maintenance first. Look at that front end. Yo, this frozen black is no joke. Big fan of the front, the back though. Look at that. Wow. Straight up aggressive. I just want to apologize to Shell because uh, both cars needed gas and there's there was no Shell nearby. <laughs> I sinned. This is pretty amazing. M5, E90, it's just the best combination. One to beat on, one to just kind of cruise and floor it on straight roads. The YouTube life, man. Gotta thank you guys for all of this. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but it's happened. And uh, content for 2021 is gonna be f***ing legit. Just saying. So it's another day, guys. I wanted to show you guys the E90 under the daylight. Guys, this car was a major major win major win 
19 inch wheels already has coal overs tint windows you got the Le Mans blue with a very desirable combination of the interior which is saddle brown saddle brown with this Le Mans blue is just absolutely gorgeous Ooh, that six-speed manual you guys had a lot of complaints when I had the E93 because it was automatic where's the complaining now six-speed manual guys the Le Mans blue paint job actually looks like it's in very very good condition this is original paint you got some scuff marks and stuff like that but that's okay this uh car has about 140,000 miles but yeah we got the carbon fiber pieces already the the trunk lip we have well i've never seen the aluminum colored diffuser but we're probably going to swap that out to carbon as well the trim pieces are already wrapped in gloss black so that's one less thing that i have to do but just look at it guys it looks absolutely beautiful got an aggressive carbon fiber lip up front got the fog lights headlights need a little bit of work but that's okay we'll probably send these out to get them custom made change the front lens remove this black tint i'm not a big fan of this right here uh black kidney grills uh looks like we have some yellow intake scoops really nice touch the front bumper not the best uh we have some flaking of the paint up front it's like some kind of rock hit it started chipping away right here um but that's okay we'll get that addressed this whole car is probably gonna get wrapped at one point anyways the hood looks pretty good you got some love bug damage or insect damage not a problem speed hunters nice black tint boy that is like a limo tint right there that has to be like five percent or even less like that is super dark that's another thing i don't have to worry about do you got some flaking going on here with the antenna all right let's get inside show you guys what the interior looks like very 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 good condition guys like very good condition look at it it's almost as if nobody's ever sat in the passenger seat in fact the front seats actually look just as good it's very hard to believe that these are oem and untouched i feel like they were maybe painted or dyed at one point but either way i'm not complaining this is very good Looks like we have a custom steering wheel. We have some stitching on the inside. Oh, by the way, guys, this is an M Sport 335i. So not only is it manual, not only is it N54, it's also an M Sport. So this is a very rare combination here. Le Mans Blue, Saddle Brown, N54, and LCI. I don't know if you guys knew, but the N54 engine was only really given to the 335i LCI for one year. Well, like a year and a half. All of 2009 and like half of 2010. So to find a manual N54 LCI is very, very hard to find. Super rare, and guess what? I was able to cop one. To tell you that I'm super excited with what happened this weekend, acquiring both the E90 and the F10 M5, which is back there, like, I wouldn't even be able to put that into words. It, it'd be a huge understatement to tell you guys how happy I am. It's just, God. I don't have any words, man. I'm so excited. This is this is so freaking awesome. We got some really good content that's going to be coming to the channel. You guys do not want to miss it. I have huge plans for this car. I know with the E93, I was somewhat conservative. I could have pushed more power out of it. I could have done more with like, let's say, M Sport bumpers, carbon fiber, and stuff like that. I, I wanted it to be conservative. But with this car, there's no limits, guys. We're going all the way. This car is going to be a legit crazy build. Like, I promise you guys. Like, subscribe right now. Notification bell on. You guys do not want to miss out on any episode of this car. Oh my god, this looks so aggressive. It's it's insane because the LCI I think adds a different trunk and different tail lights. And it just makes all the difference in the world. It looks so good. M Sport bumper with the diffuser. Just ah, the whole package of this car is amazing. You know, I've never been a blue paint type of guy when it comes to cars. But look at that combination. Look at that combination. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good oh my god i'm so excited for this build so what i'm gonna do for the very first time is actually drive the damn car i bought the car from a guy in jacksonville i never actually drove the car i had ali look at it i had ali drive it um a, a test drive it and then i had him bring it back to orlando i never tested it myself so uh this would be the first time i'm excited because this car is not stock it actually has full bolt-ons and a tune it's pretty capable <laughs> It sounds very good and it smells very good too. Mmm. Oh, you hear those burbles? Oh, this ride's smooth, man. This ride's really, really smooth. Oh, no hiccups or anything. The clutch though, it's definitely been upgraded. It's it's catchy. Oh! Yo, this is fast. <laughs> oh, this is fast. I'm so surprised. 19 inches, they're tucked, and there's no rubbing on the car at all. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, that's fast. 
fourth gear pull, the F10 almost kept up. Hey, hey, hey. Until it kept up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did a small pull on the way back from Georgia. He kind of got ahead of me. He did a fourth gear pull. He actually kept up. I stayed up for, there for a little bit. For a while, and then, uh, and then the F10 and 5 started creeping up. I think it was like 120. That's when F10 was like, okay, bye. <laughs> Was it slipping the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we need a new clutch. The tires were slipping. No, I don't think that was the tires. It was the tires or the clutch? If the clutch was slipping, you would have been pegging off the rev limiter. I was pretty much at the we rev limiter. We were just going like... Where's the traction at? <laughs> it was on. How did I spin? How did I spin? <laughs> It, it was probably kicking on, but it was freaking out too. I don't think the traction control worked very well in there because I did three. I did, what I did first, second, and third, and I was still freaking in the same spot. <laughs> Yo, this sounds good. It's smooth, man. The good thing about this car is that the guy that uh, sold it to me, he had like a freaking book of maintenance records. So, like he took care of the turbos, he took care of the high pressure fuel pump, the motor mounts, the spark plugs, the coils. Like he took care of everything. He was one of these guys that was very, very detail oriented. And uh, that's good, man. It's good when you find an N54 user that actually maintains their car the right way. <laughs> oh, Woo! Subscribe, notification bell on now. The shift on, I've been driving the E46 M3 a lot lately. This shifter and the clutch shoes on this is miles better than the E46 M3. Like it's much smoother, it's buttery. I don't know, maybe the other one you get more feedback, but this one is much smoother, much easier. He, he, the guy said it's, it's producing, what, 420 horsepower? Something like that. He said 420. That's full bolt-ons, and I think it has an MHT Stage 1, and the turbos have been swapped out. We'll probably still do a, a full maintenance routine on this car. Probably drop, I don't know if we'll drop the engine, but make sure it's running optimal, and then we'll go for some upgrades. So we'll do everything on it, and we're going to go for some big boy upgrades. More to come on that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see from this E90. Um, I'm all ears with the E93. I took all the suggestions you guys gave me and I applied it ended up being an awesome build And now I'm giving it away to one lucky person. So uh, let me know in the comment section below What do you guys want to see from this car? Performance other than maintenance, which is gonna be the first thing What do you guys want to see more performance stuff uh, exterior modifications interior stuff like that Let me know in the comment section below appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for supporting the channel If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to get the the E90 and the F10 M5. It's just so freaking awesome. Make sure to like the video. Take care. Talk to you guys next time.